Hello guys, welcome. So today we'll be going to make an triangle logo, which uh, it's like an impossible triangle logo in Inkscape. So let's get started. Open up Inkscape, then select the icon with stars and polygons. Make sure you have polygon selected and corners to three. Press Ctrl and drag up a triangle. Now the triangle. Oops. Move this triangle to the center then okay right here then go to full and stroke and make the opacity to full now press ctrl d to duplicate the other blue color and then whoops shift it side little bit here you can do it by your arrow keys or you could just press ctrl shift and move it down move it in the left side now again press ctrl d to duplicate give it a green color make sure you have snap snap path nodes path and handles on then snap to path intersection on and then wrap this to here now press v to get the bezier curve and make the border line around that triangle Once you have done this, you should oops, you should delete the triangles inside and select the triangle you made. Then give it a color. I would give it a red color. Then press shift and click on this one to remove the border line. And now make the opacity to about half. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate. Give it a green color and snap it over there. Now select both of this, press Ctrl D to duplicate, then go to path and then difference. Now give it a blue color so you could just see it. Okay, so here's the difference sheet. Now press B and select this lower part. And now select this path you draw and the uh, different sheet area. Now again go to path and then difference now press ctrl d to duplicate it double click on it so you could get this rotation box now press ctrl and move it around 90 degrees and now snap it over there now select the green circle and remove it green triangle and select both of this then go to path union now press ctrl d to duplicate it give it a red color or green color click twice on it so you could just get the rotation box rotate it about there and snap it on there now you could just delete this now select both oops okay so I just zoom in okay so you should select the both then press ctrl D to duplicate it then go to path then intersection give this a red color now control press control D to duplicate the intersection and shift select this then go to path then difference now again press control D to duplicate then shift select this and again go to path and then difference now select this thing and go to path select this squares and go to path and then select break apart now select the green triangle, go to path, then break apart and select the blue triangle, then go to path and then again break apart. Now select the green, this lower rectangle of the green triangle and delete it. Now select this triangle, then shift select this, then shift select this, then go to path and then union. Now select this, this and this, then again go to path and then union. Once you have done this, you could just select any one of the triangle, then press Ctrl D, give it a red color, then click on it to get the rotation box, press Ctrl and rotate it about this much. Now you could see that you just made this, but here's the transparency error. That's because this is more bigger than this one. So select this, the red one, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, select the purple one go to path then difference 
now you could just have all of this so decrease the opacity to see if and there is anything in between so like this then decrease the opacity about that much then make it full so like this one decrease the opacity to about half make it full select this decrease the opacity to about half then make it full so we make the opacity to half to see that if and there is any path intersection or not so now select all of this okay so i select the low one and scroll it down to get the green sheet and now we'll go to okay this box right here we'll give it a darker green or darker blue and we'll select this we'll give it oops we'll give it this and we'll select this okay so now your impossible triangle is done now select any one of this press g to get the uh, gradient editor now edit the gradient stroke from here to here now make sure you are this selected then make it full black blue okay then make it full and then decrease it up to blue now select this one select blue make it a lighter hue okay so you could just see that we have added a hue a gradient now we should add the gradient to all so i just pause the video and i will create add the gradient to all so to show you how it will look okay so now you could just see that i have given the gradient to this triangle now select all of this and press ctrl g to group it up or just go to here group selected objects so this will be one object okay now press ctrl d to duplicate and select this here flip the object vertically then bring it down about there and now uh, go to opacity and decrease the opacity to about half and increase the blur value to about this much so now you could just see that it's looking like a logo okay we just select this and uh, we should have the blur value to about okay we will manually put the blur value to 0.5 so our mistakes or the sharpness which will be automatically hidden so here's the logo which we created so thanks for watching guys make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below which will be the next video thanks guys